With many speculations behind us, we are finally getting the seventh installment of the Transformers franchise, which we even got an official title with it being Transformers Rise of the Beast, an adaptation from the cartoons way back in the day that we all liked and loved. And today, we are going to take a first look at the movie and see where things are at this moment. In the upcoming seventh movie from the franchise, the time has finally come for the Optimus Primal, the G1 Autobot, to hit the big screen. The movie will be a direct sequel to 2018's Bumblebee. This movie will continue the reboot and the prequel of the series of the franchise. Following the steps of its predecessor we have mentioned just now, the movie will be helmed by Creed II director Stephen Capel Jr., pulling all the strings from behind the scenes. As it stands right now, we have gotten confirmation that the movie is already in the filming process, and its official release date is June 24, 2022. And while major details about the movie are not revealed yet, we know that the movie will follow and greatly expand the world of the Transformers, incorporating new characters from the popular Beast Wars storyline along the way. As for the trailer side of things, we are in the unknown, as there has not been revealed anything so far. No teaser, nothing. The only thing we managed to find out are some pictures that Steven shared on his Twitter account, with some of the robots depicted in their car models, and the supposed location of these vehicles on the images being taken somewhere in Peru one of the locations where the movie will take place. Considering the release date of the movie, we should be getting a teaser trailer very soon. So keep one eye open at all times. You do not want to miss it. The lead of the human cast will be taken by Anthony Ramos, the star who made a name for himself in The Heights, with him portraying the character of Noah, the ex-military who is an adept in electronics and technology, which will come in handy when he crosses paths with characters like Optimus Prime and the one who prioritizes his care for his family over anything, and who is used to hustling to make ends meet. Dominique Fishbeck is also in the mix, with her portraying the role of Alina, who is an artifact researcher who will be working at a museum when we first meet her. Ron Perlman will reprise his role in the movie as the leader of the Maximals, lending his voice for the second time after his first adventure with the franchise in the animated series Transformers Power of the Primes. Other returning cast member lending his voice is the legendary Peter Cullen, voicing Optimus Prime, yet again in his G1 look, with us hoping to see him deliver yet another courageous speech on the big screen. The latest cast member to join the team is Lauren Velez, Noah's mother, but that is all we know about her character. We are still not quite sure how big of a role she will have in the movie. Many fans want to know whether John Cena will reprise his role as Jack Burns from Bumblebee. And while there has been no official confirmation, Cena said that he would be up for a return to the franchise after the success that the first movie had. During a virtual presentation from Paramount, director Stephen Capel Jr. was not shy to share some story details about the plot of Transformers Rise of the Beast. The action of the movie will go between New York and Machu Picchu, expanding the universe of the Transformers beyond the Autobots and the Decepticons, with his movie introducing new robot groups to the mix, the Predacons, the Maximals, and the Terrorcons with the first two being prehistoric, time-traveling robots. In their disguise, they will take the form of an animal, with the humans finding out about them on Earth after they arrive. As Steven said, the movie will try to give the audience a lot of new things from the franchise, with a new set of villains, with a whole lot of new priorities. The fans of the franchise who have not seen the animated series from back in the day will have a lot of new things to see. New Autobots and villains like they have never seen before. Ramos and Alina will be the two who will somehow find themselves caught up in the conflict between beast tribes that we are having in the movie. So it will be an interesting thing to have a little more sense of their characters in the upcoming movie. One of the most exciting things for us will be the looks of the robots from Cybertron Generation 1 and also the locations of the settings of the movie. So, all in all, knowing that the movie will follow closely how Bumblebee was going in terms of story, we should be getting something new, something fresh, which we all love and will remember for a long time afterward. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the Transformers franchise as a whole? And what are your expectations for the upcoming movie, seeing all the details for it beforehand? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.